Alright, you already know what time it is. I've heard your cries, I've heard your prayers and your pleads. They have reached my ears all the way on top of Mount Olympus here in my college dorm. And I am ready to deliver. The people, the subscribers, the viewers, they thirst for blood and iron. And they shall receive. Alright? Responding in as the uh, Brunswick Rifleman with his gay little hat. I'm sorry, it's just not nearly as good as the Austrian hat. It tries. I mean, it doesn't succeed, but it tries. Also not a big fan of the gray. I don't know. It's just a discount dollar store Jaeger Battalion sniper. Ooh, that dude thought he was safe. He thought he was behind the building. Thought nobody could touch him. Thought he was invincible. Well, we showed him. We showed him what true power was. The power to, uh... Lob a lead ball at, you know, 200 miles an hour. I don't know how fast these bullets actually travel. Alright, you guys are gonna like... Don't try it! What?! Are you kidding me? You guys saw that. Hey, thanks for saving my life, by the way, but you guys saw that. Did I shoot his gun? You see the dust kick up off of that. Oh well. We still got this round in the bag, it would seem. We've only taken, well now, three casualties. And we need to move into the city before they start barricading themselves in too badly. Oh, hey. Hey, sir. Nope. Nope, where are you going? Goodbye. Thank you for giving them the old poke. The old bayonet to the jewels. Yeah, we could just bypass that. No, you don't. You can't ambush my teammate. Down the stairs with you. Battle Droid 714, we will find you. Oh, there he is, there he is. Shoot him! Shoot her! Dude, he just killed two of our teammates. They can't let him slaughter our comrades like this. Oh my gosh. He is a beast. There we go, finally took him down. Hey, shut up. Finally took that guy down. What a champion, though. As Apollyon from For Honor would say, this is a world of sheep and wolves, and that man was a wolf. What a shame that guns were invented, <laughs> and the wolves uh, realized that they could be killed by the sheep easily. And that's where the old saying comes from. God created man, Samuel Colt made him equal. I just sniped that dude, by the way. Very impressive, if I do say so myself. Oh, that's a sapper. Got one hit on him. One hit on him. Alright. Guys, 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 turn around. There's a sapper. There's a big boy in there. Okay, hopefully they take care of that. I'm gonna move into the city, I think. Because I am injured and I do not want to go out like some kind of punk. Go get him, teammate. Nope. What? What? You guys see that? How did I not hit him? What are these guys doing at their spawn? They're just chilling while their team gets massacred in there. I guess now they figure it's time to go and try a fight? This dude probably got shot. He's not even moving. Alright, let's see what the Germans are up to. Alright, they're taking names. Oh, they're also taking casualties. Come on, snipe that dude who's reloading. Either one of them. There you go. That was the main threat anyway, that guy. Uh, what's going on? Oh, we got another dude. The bush is over here. You'd think after all this time, the devs could find a better bush texture that doesn't have a line on top, but guess not. Done so. Last guy is Battle Droid once again. This champion, this wolf among sheep, god among men. Where is he at? Oh, he's he's dead. They shot him. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna say it, and this might just be me, uh, my personal experience, because I don't know the actual stats, but the buffs provided by the flag bearer and the, uh, you know, the musicians and all that, and maybe even the officer for that matter, are not 
good enough to outweigh, you know, the loss of that person having a gun, in my opinion, okay? I think it's more valuable for you have another, you know, musket on your team than uh, a guy who boosts your reload speed by, you know, a tiny fraction of a second. Oh, he hit me with that sidestep. Well, let's keep our eyes on the side here, make sure no one sneaks up on us. Oh man, that guy scared me, maybe cancel my reload. See, here's a tip, okay, for you people. When you're reloading next to a wall... Nope, nope, nope. You missed me. When you're reloading next to a wall, don't point yourself directly at the wall, because then your arms and your gun will go through the wall and let everyone on the other side know that there's a person right on the other side there. Alright, so try and stay parallel to it, at least, so that that way, if they don't already know you're there, you will give away your position. Now let's see, where is the enemy? Oh dang, we've only been taking one casualty so far. Alright, this is a bad angle, you see, when I'm reloading here? Not good. Because when my arms were sticking out from the tree, they could have shot me in the arms. And that's no fun. Alright, taking a hot ball of lead into your... No, it's not, trust me. We've also still only taken one casualty. Very impressive. Time to rush these dudes and take them down. Or I guess our guys are going with the uh, the gradual advancing. I might be too close to the tree for this shot to get off. Oh, that was too high. Like an inch too high. All right. Oh my gosh, we're just going in. You know what, I'll go in. No, they got it taken care of. I'll reload just in case one of them tries to run away. See, when the odds are in your favor and the enemies just hold up there, you gotta just charge them, man. Because even if you die, look at this, look at this. Still, the same guy since the beginning of the round has only been dead. So yeah, when you get the opportunity, like you outnumber them enough to just run at them, and even if they shoot you, you'll still have more people in them, do it. Alright, because better to do that then, and end the confrontation, than to wait and sit back and just get shot up until you're forced to do the same thing anyway. Because if they've got the defensive position like that, they're going to have the upper hand. They, they have cover to hide behind, okay? You are forced to approach them. So, better to destroy it sooner rather than later. Because if you wait later, you're going to have less people because they've been shooting you. They're still going to be there. They're already taking losses. We are untouched as of yet because we're professionals. And they right, PB and J. PB and J wa was, was taken. Wastikin. All right, cover my PB. I got you covered. Nice, nice shot. All right, this is a tricky situation we're in. We gotta. Watch our angles here and make sure we don't walk into someone's line of fire. Got him. Tango down. Let's hide behind this concealment. I wouldn't even call it concealment so much. This is partial cover. Because we kind of picked the worst spot to reload behind this log here. We're in the giant open space where our noggin is just popping out into the open air. Feeling that breeze through our hair. Like Fresh Prince of Bel Air. See, look, the longer these guys sit here, the more fortified they get, the, the weaker the other team becomes. I don't know why this dude decided to reload out here in the plains instead of, you know, behind the wall, but hey, it's his life. His death pretty soon. Ooh, took a musket ball right to the gut. Oh, we got a man in there. Two men. He's taking- he's causing some damage. Causing some chaos. Oh, he got two of them down to red, though. That is good. And they're about to be overrun. Get in there, guys. Oh, that dude's donezo. That guy's donezo. The sapper over here is panicking. That guy's donezo. Sapper's gonna be dead. Yep, there goes both of them. 
Now it's all up to Battle Droid once again. Maybe he's always last because he hides somewhere the whole round. I'm sorry, Battle Droid, it's hopeless for you once again. Maybe if you'd helped your team out earlier, you wouldn't be in this situation. Alright. He's gonna go for the old close the door and then shoot someone in the face technique. Oh, nope. Should've cocked the hammer first. Should've left clicked first. Oh! Flanking in behind, dodging them. Dude, he's getting away, no one even knows he's back there! No, Phantom is so dead! Oh, and this guy managed to stab Phantom. There we go. Man, he almost like... I wonder if he could have escaped if he just didn't attack that guy and just kept going. Would the reloading dude have noticed him? I guess this is just gonna be the Iberian Harbor video because uh, this is probably gonna be the last round. We're nearing 20 minutes here on the clock. So, uh... Yeah. Hope, you, <laughs> hope you've enjoyed it so far. We've got four flag bearers. We can swing slightly faster. Actually, that is pretty fast compared to normal. Okay, so maybe if you have enough flag bearers, it is the benefit. That's only if you're, like, in melee combat with somebody. And that doesn't happen nearly as often as getting shot and shot at and shooting. Gunplay, as it were. Alright, I am not going to let this dude over here flank around the swamp. I'm going to intercept. Try and not get shot on my way there. Oh, we have another comrade this way. No, you don't. Come on, comrade, flank! Flank and spank! Got him! Good work! <laughs> you guys teabagging his own, you know, friend? I don't know why. I feel like I use comrade too much, so I'm trying to, to mix up the diction a bit, you know? Well, I got him. No way, that guy shot me. This line infantry, and this dude is running around. Is that hacking? I don't know if that's hacking or just a bug. But, uh, hey. That's going in the video. I had to, um... Report some other guy for hacking just yesterday. Got that on video too. I might add it later. What is going on? Dude still has the- well, you got the wad in your gun, stupid. You're not even reloaded. Oh, I guess he doesn't care. Well, have fun talking to, uh, Blood and Iron Moderation, my guy. See, I wouldn't say that it's, it's hacking. Except for the fact that he's moving so fast. Otherwise, I would- I could write it up to just a bug. But no, he's moving faster than you ever can on foot. In any situation. Ban that man. Or a woman. It might be one of the three women who play Blood and Iron. Zero, actually. No women play Blood and Iron. That's a fact. Verifiably true. Get in there, Sapper. No, come on. You guys, put your life on the line for the cause, okay? If if you dying means your team wins the game, then so be it. You can't be, you know, like Battle Droid here who just hides the whole time. Because he lives. Well, no, he doesn't even live. He dies. But his team also loses, okay? Alright, I've got a confession to make. We're gonna cheat just a little bit on the uh, Iberian Harbor video by doing at least one Riverside Encampment. Or, you know what, I might just... Yeah, no, 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 we're doing this, okay? We are the Prussian Hussars, because, uh, duh. You gotta have at least one glorious Hussar round. And my relationship with the Hussars is not complicated. It's not logical. But it's there all the same. It's powerful, okay? Basically, here's how it goes. Hussars are not the best cavalry class. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. Like, performance-wise, nah. Now, performance-wise is not what drives my decision for this, though. I mean, I pick people mostly based on their uniform and how cool it looks, for gosh sakes. Alright, hang on, let me deal with this guy first. He's done so. No. Hussars, glory-wise, are at the top of the ladder, top of the chain, okay? Because it's victory or death. 
and often both, victory and death, okay? You're vulnerable, you don't have a gun, your, so your horse is the weakest, but you go the fastest, okay? You fly, and you look good doing it. You're always going to be probably outnumbered, you're going to be behind enemy lines. But that doesn't matter, okay? Because you're awesome. And if you survive as a Hussar, you're either the greatest champion in the world, and your country should be proud of you, or you uh, didn't do anything important, in which case you are disgraced and should be expelled from the Hussar Corps. I don't know if that's a thing. Donzo! It's also very satisfying to kill people as a Hussar. Alright, got a hit on him. Two hits. Dang it! Ah, I hit the other dude to gotta get him to red. Well, see there you go. Glory and death. I managed to cause great casualties to the enemy. My teammate, unfortunately, is not going to continue the trend. This dude is a slippery one, mostly because the lagging. Who's he gonna address his message to? Phil? Oh, Prussian, probably. Prussia. Okay, Dragoon is the worst cavalry class, and it used to be my favorite, okay? But it's just not the case anymore, because it's just bad. And it's not bad and cool, like the Hussar. I wouldn't call the Hussar bad, but it's- it's- the- the, the Dragoon's just bad. It's bad and lame, okay? They rarely have cool-looking uniforms. Their gun is, like, possibly the worst gun. This just got taken out by- oh, of course, this battle droid with his tornado move. But it's- it's possibly the worst gun. The gun, you only get one shot with it, because it unloads itself as soon as you try and climb back onto your horse. Mind of its own. And you've got the slowest horse, okay? There's nothing glorious about riding in a battle with a slow horse. Maybe if they'd picked, you know, cavalry, they could move very quickly, reach the enemy in a very speedy and hasty manner, and dispatch them just as hastily. But no. We've got artilleries, we've got sappers, and one line infantry, albeit he is wearing a neat uniform. I like that. Oh, here he comes. Coming in at the high ready. He's prepared. He's gonna shoot to kill. Sweeping the tents. And there goes, taking out one of the Prussians. Oh, he's reloaded record time. Very impressive. I don't know who taught him how to reload that fast. And while he's running, nonetheless. Ooh, tucks out another Prussian. This dude's got mad skills. He's not just a script kitty. No, never. There we go. The round is ended. All because of the glorious hero. That guy. That's the end. Adios.